guys, I'm coming to you today with another recession haul. As we all know, prices are increasing and gas prices are increasing, wheat, grain, everything is increasing, guys. So what I have done is I have found out how to buy with, within the recession and how to make our money work for us. Get the best bang for our dollar, guys. Come on now. So today, we went over to a couple of different stores. One was the Family Dollar, we went to Walmart, and we went to Aldi's. So I'm gonna show you how much I saved. Now, the first batch of things that we did get is Walmart. Walmart did get their uh, chicken back uh, in the store, but these are the five pound legs. Now, when I was first buying the legs uh, six months ago, it was $4.57. Today, the price is $6.47. So I bought four of the five pound bags of legs. So these are this right here. So the price has increased, but it's still doable for any family that needs chicken. Regular chicken right now is costing up to $17 to $25, depending on the cuts of the chicken that you get. So you don't want to get that if you don't have to. My other great sale is they had the festive ground turkey on sale for $1.27. Now this per pound is um, 16 ounces. So what I did is I bought six of these for $1.27. I can do a lot with this sausage and my meat sauces, make breakfast sausage or whatever you think your family would love. Breakfast burritos, all types of different things as well. Another great buy that we have not eaten in a long time, our family, but this is for our storage, is bologna. Guys, I haven't seen bologna in years. But this bologna was on sale for a dollar. And this is the Mr. Evers, Evers bologna and it is 1.2 ounces and we bought actually six of those as well for a dollar this will fill up our freezer so after that this is all that we bought at walmart guys and we got a great great deal on the meat at walmart so then we went over to the family dollar guys i did a great great deal at family dollars as well everything was one dollar now go figure everything now at the dollar family dollar is a dollar 27 dollar 50 dollar 47 but it's no longer a dollar but when you do find things for a dollar stock up on those and add that to your your storage now we got spaghetti noodles and these are the chestnut heel spaghetti noodles 16 ounces they were a dollar. So this is just gonna be added to what I already have in my storage. So I got six of these guys. This was just a dollar. Then I ran up on the suddenly festive salad. And this is, this box is eight ounces. Guys, I got, how many boxes of these? Oh, all right here. We got four boxes of those for a dollar. We're just adding this to what we already have in our storage. After that, we also got, we got uh, with the salad, we got two, four, six of those. Now, we did get some jambalaya, and guys, they have the jambalaya box mix. I haven't seen this in a very, very long time. They have this also for a dollar, and we got six boxes of those as well. The other great buy that we got was also the Hungry Jack. The Hungry Jack Cheesy Scallop Potatoes. We got one, two, three, four, five, six of those as well. So guys, you looking at a great deal and a great buy for the day. When we went over to Oli's, it was not really anything that was catching my eye that I couldn't buy probably somewhere else cheaper at a different day, crossing my hands, hopefully. So guys, please, when you're going to look at these prices, get things that you can get a great deal. You have to understand something. This food is not what you're gonna eat on an everyday basis. This food is what you're stocking up on just in case it gets bad and you can feed your family. 
Normally everything that I cook is from scratch, but this is what we stock up on when we're in a time as this. So guys, look at great deals, try to bargain shop, get as much as you can to put into your arsenal to feed your family. But before I let you go, you must stay amazing.